We're now going to create the arms that connect to the front of the face frame that go over our ears. And in order to do that, we're going to right click the top level design and create a new component. Now that my arm is active, I'm going to move to one of the sides of my design. So I'll use my view cube at the top right and click the right view. I'm going to create another bounding box to make the shape of my arm and I'm going to use this guide. I would like mine to fit within this 135 to 145 range. I'll use my two point rectangle, click on this plane facing and I'm going to draw a box in space. I want this to be about the size of my entire glasses so I'm just going to put about 40 millimeters, that's a little less. And for my length, I want that to be 140 millimeters. I'll hit enter on both my dimensions. The last thing that I'm gonna do is move this box into the right orientation. And the best way for me to center this box is to go to sketch, click a point, find the center by hovering over this line and getting the triangle. I'll click that center point and move to my constraints tab, click coincident, click this point and match it to that point right here. Now that my sketch is black and constrained, I can draw my spline shapes within here to get the side profile. So I'm going to sketch a fit point spline and here we can sort of see about where we need our piece. And back to my right view, I can estimate or do actual measurements to get the side curves of my glasses. Feel free to play around and get some of the shapes that you'd like. Remember, you can always add splines to create the shape that you'd like. And once you're done, hit the check mark. If it doesn't look exactly right, hit escape on the keyboard and feel free to move some of your pieces around until you get the shape that you like. This looks like a pretty simple design that should work for me. I have it going through the center of my part. So I can stop my sketch. And if I need to, I can extrude this over by hitting E on the keyboard or modify extrude. I will use the thickness of my material, which is three millimeters and hit okay. I now have my component. And if I don't like the placement, now I can right click and hit move copy. Here I'm going to move my component to the edge of my glasses to make sure that it fits exactly where I want it. And for me, I want it to fit right about in that open space. And I like that fit. So I'm going to hit okay. And at the top, I'm going to capture the position. This particular component is completed.